Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading focusing on you and the person that you are thinking about. It'll be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean it's for you. So check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. So we're going to get right into it and I'm starting with the Osho Zen Tarot deck. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box below. I'm going to use this as a uh, oracle deck or, you know, that's how I like using it. Spirit, please bring forth messages for Aquarius. In regards to love, Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? In regards to love. I just Aquarius need to know. All right, let's get into it for Aquarius. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Get into it for Aquarius spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love? Aquarius has had some very interesting readings lately, so we'll see what we have for you today. Moment to moment. What else for Aquarius? Suppression. Um, notice how this, it looks like they're tied down. Like there's like a rope around them. What else for Aquarius? I keep getting these readings about people feeling trapped in their situation, wanting to break free. What else for Aquarius? Possibilities. I think choices, decisions are going to be a factor in this. Someone in this connection, the person that you're thinking about or you are thinking of making a decision. One more for Aquarius, please. Slowing down. Very interesting. I know there's a burden here. Someone in this connection feels burdened, feels overwhelmed, feels trapped. Um, they're thinking of other options to get out of this situation. It looks like they're taking it day by day, almost like they don't want to rush it. Let's see what we get with the tarot. This is the crow tarot. I just got this deck and I love it. It's a little big though. So I'm gonna be doing a spread focusing on you, them, and the current um, energies in your connection. So feel free to flip the roles if they resonate. Um, What am I doing? Feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate, okay? If I could just shuffle, that'd be nice, okay? You know, small hands, <laughs> large tarot decks, this just doesn't work out, as you can see. Okay. Ow. Okay. 
So let's start with you, Aquarius. How do you feel? What are your thoughts regarding this person? Actually, let me pull some animal spirit cards. I want to get more insight into how your person feels about this. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius and the person they're thinking about. What does this person feel about this connection at this time? The person that Aquarius is thinking about, what do they feel or think about this connection at this time? What are their thoughts or feelings about this connection? Buffalo. So they're up for the challenge. They're steady. The buffalo is steady and brave. Um, they just keep on no matter what is ahead. Okay, the crow came up. What else? What else? Starfish. So something is not as it seems, or there's more to the, there's more to this situation than meets the eye for your person. They might not be open about what they're thinking. They might have made uh, the wrong choice regarding something in their life because they didn't see what was beneath the surface. Starfish is all about what, you know, being blinded by the outside, the exterior of something so that you don't even know that there's depth or anything beyond that. So it's almost like when it comes to this situation, when it comes to you, someone here doesn't know the whole story. I'm also picking up um, like all that glitters is in gold. So I feel like your person possibly hasn't told you something because you know they're going through through a situation right now and I don't think you know about it. Vulture. So they need to clean something up here. Something is messy and they need to clean it up. So let's get into the tarot. Let's start with you, Aquarius. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius and this connection. What are their thoughts or feelings here in this connection? Eight of Wands. Communication. Movement. So you might be wanting to communicate with this person or receiving a message. Tell me more for Aquarius, please. Page of Wands reversed. Something wasn't able to get started here. What else? Okay. What else for Aquarius? Either a message didn't come through or something that had potential never really got off the ground. The Page of Wands reverse doesn't finish what they start for one reason or another. What's this? Nine of Wands reversed. So someone here wants to give up. Someone here, there's... Too much burden here. Someone could be overcoming feelings of exhaustion. Someone could be overcoming, maybe their guard is down because of this communication coming in. But the Nine of Wands reverse could also mean that someone has given up or is no longer fighting something. There could be trust issues here. So let's look at your person. Tell me more about Aquarius's person spirit. 
for their thoughts or feelings about this situation. What are their thoughts or feelings here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. So your person, Aquarius, could very well be attached to something or someone. The Nine of Pentacles reversed is not free, not independent, not secure. Three of Cups reversed. This could definitely be a third party. I don't know. What is up with you guys? Aquarius always has third party readings. There's always an interference in, 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 a, in a reading for you. So there's some sort of interference here with the Three of Cups reverse. And it could be any sort of interference. It could be distance, family, fear, money, another partner, like romantic partner. So I feel like your person might already be with someone at this time. Let's see, what else for Aquarius? What, are, what else can you tell me about their person? I'm going to clarify these. Nope. What else for Aquarius? Anything else you need to know about their person spirit? Eight of Pentacles. So this person is working on something at this time, focused on something. Um, there's a goal here. For your person. I'm going to clarify that. But first, let's look at this connection as a whole. What can you tell me about this connection, Spirit? What's going on in this connection between Aquarius and the person they are thinking about? What is going on here between Aquarius and the person they are thinking about, Spirit? What do we need to know? Four of Cups. So something here um, regarding uh, there's possibly a lack of interest, boredom, discontent. Someone's not really happy with what they have at this time. There could have been a missed opportunity here. What else can you tell me about this, this connection spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? Nine of Swords reversed. Interesting. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Someone could be overcoming their fear, their guilt, their anxiety about something. Or they're still feeling that way. Let's see. What else can you tell me about this connection? There was a missed opportunity here, possibly due to fear, anxiety, or stress. Page of Swords reversed. So there's either a lack of communication here or some sort of deception. Again, that idea of not knowing the whole story. It's at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords, nope, Six of Swords reversed. Someone could be wanting to return here, come back that has left, or um, there's something here about someone possibly wanting to leave a situation, but they're blocked. There, This is a, it could be that someone's delayed from departing, delayed from transitioning. Give me one more, please, for this situation. What's going on here between Aquarius and the person that you're thinking about, Spirit? What's going on? Eight of Cups reversed. Definitely someone here could be wanting to come back. Someone might have left this connection in the past, walked away in the past. And could be regretting that or wanting to return. Also, um, I'm going to clarify the Eight of Cups because I want to know if um, they're being blocked from leaving a current situation. This one. 
because they're attached to something. Eight of Swords reverse. And just when I say that, there's there's that feeling of trapped being stuck. I keep getting these messages, guys. I'm sorry if these readings are repetitive, but this is what's going on for the collective. So let's start clarifying. I'm going to be using the same deck. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be using the same deck here. Aquarius spirit. Tell me about this page of wands re reversed for Aquarius. This is you on this side for me, Aquarius, and this is your person. But again, feel free to flip the roles. Tell me about the okay. The sun reversed Leo energy here. So on your end, something here um, was unclear. Something was hidden or something just was made you very unhappy. Um, it was disappointing. What didn't work out here? Tell me about this. Eight of Wands. This is Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups. Um, new love. So there's going to be some sort of communication either that you're going to be communicating or someone's going to be communicating to you. And again, I have the six of swords at the bottom reversed. So someone could be wanting to start over with you. Someone could be wanting to express how they feel. If this is someone that you've never been with before, for example, they might be communicating how they feel. I feel like your guard is going to be down. You're, it's almost like you're going to be open to this when you were so guarded in the past or so careful. So you were very protective over yourself and your guard is down. Maybe you gave up on feeling angry or feeling defensive. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles about for Aquarius, please? Your person could be uh, working on cleaning something up, rebalancing something. Let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Taking action. Your person is going to be taking action here. About what? Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Leo energy again with a strength card. Okay, so they have courage now or they are controlling their emotions when it comes to taking action. Let's see what else. What else can you tell me? Maybe they're just very strong at this time because they're so focused. Three of Pentacles. So they're working on building something stable. They want to take action. Let me get one more. How about this Eight of Pentacles, please? Can I get one more? I see a lot of planning. Seven of Pentacles, investing, putting in effort. Tell me about this Eight of Cups reversed. What's this Eight of Cups reversed about? Five of Pentacles reversed. Someone wants to come out of the cold. What is this Eight of Cups reversed about, Spirit? There could have been distance with, between you, either physically or emotionally. Um, maybe no communication or very little communication. Um, maybe you um, ghosted someone. Three of Swords came out here. 
someone is still heartbroken about either someone leaving or wanting someone to return or this is again that third party situation because i have three threes here tell me more about this eight of cups reverse tell me more about this eight of cups reverse please case of wands yeah there there's a new beginning here someone wants a new beginning with you ace of wands ace of cups this is a great reading this is definitely someone that you already know if you don't know this person then this is someone that will be coming your way but they had to leave a situation in order to even bump into you or in order to proceed with you like for example this could be a friend or a co-worker or someone you know in passing but you've never been romantically attached that's for some of you for others of you, you've already been with this person before or there was a missed opportunity here. Tell me about the page of storage reversed. What's the page of storage reversed about? The Hermit Virgo energy. Someone being withdrawn thinking, planning, figuring out their next move. Tell me more about the Page of Swords, please. Four of Pentacles reversed. This could be somebody that is no longer holding back. Ready to let go of something. One more, please. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, a decision here. Someone's weighing the pros and cons. They're thinking really deeply about what to do. Um, with the Four of Pentacles reversed here, I feel like they're really thinking about how to let go of something. No longer holding back for from what they want. However, with the Page of Swords, I'm getting the sense that this person is kind of being uh, deceptive about this or not telling someone like their whole plan or the or the the true like the whole story king of swords at the bottom here um your person knows like this i think this is the person that's trying to overcome the feeling of being stuck trying to break free from a situation trying to make this ace of wands happening happen here um, this King of Swords is someone who knows exactly how to approach a problem. Very, um, very smart, logical. This is the, like, the planner. Also very good communicator. Five of Swords be behind that. Reversed. With the Emperor reversed. So your person is almost like they they lost control over over a situation they were in or they feel powerless in a situation they're in and so now they're coming up with a plan that they've been working on this person has been working on a plan they found the courage to take action could be dealing with a leo aries leo sag aquarius libra gemini we got hermit here as well what else do I have here Leo more Leo and more um, a lot of fire but this is someone that wants to overcome a painful situation they want to overcome feeling distant from you they want to bridge the gap and they've been working hard on it investing probably saving their money Figuring out the best way to leave a situation if they are in a third party. Trying to figure out a way to um, to become independent and free. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reversed. Let me see if I can get any more insight into this tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse please 
Knight of Cups reversed. What else? What else can you tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse? The moon reverse. Yeah, there's like, this person's not Four of Wands reverse. This person's not happy where they, they're at. There's no balance, no stability there in the home. Um, possibly a loss of uh, finances or the finances are not very stable. There's something here where there's, things are not very stable. Um with the moon reverse, this is something again, like there's something hidden here that has not been revealed, that has not been found out. Something that's still either something that's going to be found out or something that's going to come to light on its own. Um, this could also be that this person's thinking about leaving a situation. But with the Knight of Cups, I don't think they're telling people that. It's almost like they're doing all of this in secret. The planning, the thinking, the making a decision, the going back and forth, the wanting a new beginning with you. I feel like that's a secret. I get one more for this Nine of Pentacles, please. Yeah, the tower reversed, exactly. It's a secret because they're trying to be strategic. They don't wanna to lose too much here. The world rever at the bottom, not reversed, at the bottom. So it's almost like they're, they're thinking about their new beginning. You know, how can I have a new beginning? How can I um, start a new cycle but not ruin everything in the process? Very interesting. So they want to return to you and, and have a new beginning, but they want to avoid a tower while they're doing it for some reason. It could be financial. It could be um, if they have a family, for example, they don't want to mess that up. I don't really have any cards here about children except for the sun card, but you know, that could be also a factor. Um, but they definitely want an Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. And I think it's with you because you have the Ace of Cups over there right next to communication. So expect communication about love. You know, that's what I see here. They're going to offer you something. Now, I don't know when, because this tower, they're avoiding the tower at all costs, or that's their plan. So I want to see what is this Ace of Wands all about? What's the blockage here? What's coming with this Ace of Wands? Otherwise, Aquarius, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing if you enjoy the readings. Thank you to everyone who has already liked, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. If this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you, and hopefully I'll see you in another reading. Take care.